Hi! In today's episode, I'm gonna explain you the term body attitude. I will tell you how it differs from the term body image, why body attitude is important, and also we will dive deep into the thoughts that we commonly think and might affect to your body attitude in a negative way. Let's start by defining what it is. Welcome to today's episode. The question is, what is body attitude? It's your whole attitude towards your body. It is how you see, how you think about, how you feel in, and how you behave towards your body. Your self-esteem and self-respect can be reflected in your body attitude. It sounds similar as body image, so how it differs, because it's more than body image. So we can't deny that body attitude wouldn't include body image, but body attitude is your whole attitude towards your body regardless of the look. And your body attitude can affect to the choices you make in your life. We will go into this in a bit. So as a body image is strongly related to your look, body attitude is more And also the reason why I came up with this new term is fairly important because although body image also includes how we behave towards our body, the image itself is somehow kind of inactive. It's just an image. It's just there. And this might be quite obvious, but we are not probably thinking this too often. But we, if we hear one word, we get some associations about that word. And that affects how we think further about the topic. And when we hear the word image, it's just kind of existing, what we see. But when we hear the word attitude, commonly it brings mind thoughts that, oh, this is something that can be changed. It's a behavior and thinking what individual carries, but it can be changed because it has the action part in it. And as I mentioned, in body image, the behavior is more related to how you look. But in body attitude, I wanted to expand the whole how we treat our bodies. So basically the actions in body attitude towards our bodies can be due to other reasons too. I will give you a few examples. Let me know if you recognize yourself from this. So as an example... Let's imagine a situation where you have so many deadlines ahead, like really close by with your work. You need to get that work done. So you decide that, okay, I will not sleep eight hours, which is normal what I need, but I will take few hours from my sleep. Just get this work done. And now comes the important word, long lasting. What I mean by this is that we do make decisions which are not always supporting our health, but when they are long-lasting, so the actions we decide to do, it can cause problems. So yeah, one few times, I don't encourage this, but taking some hours of, of sleep, it's not that harmful. We also have like bad sleep for other reasons too, so it's not constant that we sleep super good. But it might turn a habit because there will be more and more and more work coming. This world will not stop. And if you are allowing yourself to just sleep less than you actually need, like in the long run, it will cause problems. Another example is postponing health-related changes because we are too busy. So these kind of common thoughts that, yeah, I don't have time for this and... I will start on next week or next month or whenever because we are just too busy. So we are not kind of respecting our own body and our body's needs. We are putting other things first. And it's not just about your health. It can be also related to the things you enjoy and trying new things. So for example, it can be like, I want to try a new hobby. I want to start a new hobby. I want to start to go to the gym. I want to start to some dance class. But back in your head, you might have a thought that I don't 
dare to go to the gym because I don't know what to do there. I'm not talented enough. You might not think these things actively, so they might be just back of your head and still make decisions that stops you doing the things you enjoy. There are other self-sabotage things, such as I'm too old, doesn't matter anymore, or like, well, everyone else are doing like this, so it should work for me. Or I have done things like this always. And I understand these thoughts because change is not the easy thing to do. So there are many, many of these self-sabotaging thoughts or excuses to not to change. And I understand it. It also might just feel too hard. And I think one reason for this, why things feel so hard, is that there is no kind of guarantee that something will definitely work. So if you make this change, the result will be something what I really want. But then I would like to ask what you really want and why you want that. This is the thing I will emphasize for so many times that this is not competition, this whole life. It doesn't need to be one time work, then I'm perfect. Done deal. Next. This is not a performance. You are doing this for you. So of course our surroundings are affecting how we think, how we behave. But it's really, really important to first become aware what is your body attitude and how you would like it to be. Is your body attitude affecting the other decisions you are making in your life? And finally, when you are aware of all that, you are allowed to practice, take action, small steps. You can practice as long as needed. And I think I can't say this enough that your health and well-being of your body have an impact on your brain, your mind and other way around. So it is important to take care of your health and nurture also your mind. So this is what the whole body attitude is about. You will become aware of your thoughts, you will recognize your bodily signals, you will learn what they mean and then when you are more aware you know how to react or not to react to support your health and well-being and in that way your whole life. So yeah, that is body attitude as a summarize. I hope you enjoyed the episode and because I love learning how other people think about um, what things they have noticed, I would love you to leave the comment if you have noticed certain body attitude, certain thinking that has affected to your life, the decisions you make. And I believe this also reduces kind of the shame because many of us have these thoughts. So just sharing can support others. So please leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed the episode and see you on next time. Bye.